Now, in our lessons from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he raises the question that has been so misunderstood, why does Muhammad and any Muslim murder the devil? Murder is a premeditated thing. It is planned and carried out according to a plan. Why does Muhammad and any Muslim murder the devil? And what will be your regards, your, your reward rather, in regards to taking four devil's heads? So many of us in the days of our ignorance and many white people who got those lessons and the FBI certainly has them, they're looking and say, oh my God, these Muslims are being trained to be murderers of the devil. We really are. We really are. But not in the way you think, wicked one. We are not out here planning to murder human beings taking their physical life. That's not what it's about. Four heads. Does that mean that every Muslim must go out and take actually take the head off of four devils? No. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad didn't want these lessons in the prisons. <laughs> because in the prison a man don't have anything to do <laughs> but look at things like this and think of his condition. <laughs> And who put him in such condition, he might get angry and start getting a few heads in the jail. And this is not proper. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did not want such lessons in the prison. But as we mature in the teaching, we began to understand that you've got four beasts that the Bible talks about. Four great beasts. And it's not talking about physical animals, but it's talking about human beings who have not matured spiritually, who are of that beast-like temperament and nature. They are underdeveloped human beings, so they're on the level of the lower forms of life. America is like that. She's one of the great beasts that the Bible talks about. Sorry about that, brothers and sisters, but that's the truth. England is like that. She's one of the great beasts that the Bible has talked about. Germany is like that. Italy was like that. Russia is like that. These are beasts. When you have a beast, the beast doesn't think about what's right or wrong. The beast says, I'm hungry. Here's a little lamb, I'll pounce on it. America doesn't think of right and wrong when she thinks about the raw materials that are in some Latin American country, some Central American country, some Asian country, some African country. If it's, if it's there and we need it, and there's an opportunity, we take it. That's the nature of a beast. That's the nature of the foreign policy of the government of the United States. It is the foreign policy of a beast. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, are you anti-American, Farrakhan? Not at all. I am anti a beast being in governance over human beings. Yeah.